Neil Armstrong uh, getting ready to move the TV camera now out to its panorama position. Uh, Neil, this is Houston. The field of view is okay. We'd like you to aim it a little bit more to the right. Over. Okay. Uh, a little bit too much to the right. Can you bring it back left about uh, four or five degrees? Okay, that looks good, Neil. Tell me if you got a picture, Houston. Well, we've got a beautiful picture, Neil. Tranquility Base, this is Houston. Can we get both of you on the camera for a minute, please? Uh, Neil and Buzz, uh, the President of the United States, is in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. That would be an honor. All right, go ahead, Mr. President. This is Houston out. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made. Uh, I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you, for every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world, I am sure they too join with America in recognizing what an immense feat this is. Because of what you have done, the heavens have become a part of man's world. And as you talk to us from the sea of tranquility, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this Earth are truly one. One in their pride in what you have done. And one in our prayers that you will return safely to Earth. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor and privilege for us to be here representing not only the United States, but men of peace of all nations, and with interest and a curiosity, and, and with a vision for the future. It's an honor for us to be able to participate here today. And thank you very much, and I look forward, all of us look forward to seeing you on the Hornet on Thursday. Look forward to that very much, sir.